Hi YouTube, this is a do-it-yourself video on how to make a single channel true bypass looper. Um, all the parts were readily available at your local Radio Shack except this button right here. I ordered this on eBay, bought it in bulk. You can get this in a lot of different places. It's the triple pull double throw button, 3P DT button. Um, I bought this on eBay in bulk. I bought like, It wasn't exactly bulk, it's five of them for uh, 22 bucks plus a couple bucks for shipping and handling. I think it came out to like this being about six bucks per button. Um, but I'll list all the parts. Uh, if you know how to make this, you could uh, make a six channel, seven channel. Uh, you can look at the schematics and you'll probably understand it better. But you know, this is a good way to get started in terms of making uh, true bypass loopers for your future. This will make uh, a non true bypass pedal into a true bypass pedal. So, I'll uh, list the parts. Uh, first, I bought mono uh, jack here, quarter inch, from Radio Shack. It comes two to a pack, it's two, uh, 309. So I bought two packs of them, one for each side. This case was uh, 299, it's a four by two by one case at Radio Shack. Um, this LED light comes two to a pack. Um, and that's the item number. That's the pack. And then I bought. Um, so that was that. And then for the nine volt um, adapter, this is a center negative. The way the schematic works, it's going to be center negative. Just keep that in mind and you need one of these. Oops. Sorry, that's the item number right there. And uh, I just wanted to show you, this just popped out, wrong bag, but this is the LED light that I bought at Radio Shack. Notice, okay. If you use a bigger case, you can also make it, uh, you can power it by a nine volt battery comes five to a pack, these are like $2.99. Um, so when you make these, when, one of the most important things you have to remember is, oh, actually you also need to buy a pack of resistors. Uh, the resistor that I bought was the 2.2K pack, I think it was like five or six to a pack, it was 99 cents. I also bought that at Radio Shack. I'll list that item number. Um, the uh, schematics, I have the link below. If you look at it and follow it, this build should take you about hour, hour and a half. Very easy. It's a little bit more of an intermediate build. I'm pretty new at this, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, so essentially what this pedal is going to do, my friend asked me if I could build one of these, so I built one. This is pretty much a copy of um, what Keeley sells. I think Keeley sells something very similar to this for uh, 85 bucks, and it's like $9 or $10. I actually, it's, I think it was like $13, in fact, for shipping and handling. It's almost like 100 bucks for one of these. This whole thing cost me about $24 to $25. Uh, you can actually buy a kit, too. I've seen those online. Those go for about, I think, 30 bucks. And there's also shipping and handling. You have to add to that as well. Um, well, uh, essentially, when I first bought this, uh, I took the case drilled a pilot hole and in terms of I looked at the case and determined where I wanted it. I wanted to make a similar copy. So I uh, drilled a hole down here, made a pilot hole, pilot hole, drilled a hole a little bit bigger so it fits. Um, and then when you drill this hole right here, you have to be very careful because the base of this is pretty big. So I would always make sure that this, when it goes in, doesn't hit the base. So you have to take that into consideration, as well as the other side. You don't want two of these hitting each other. So all of these are a little bit off. off. They're not one opposite, directly opposite to each other. So you have to keep that in mind. The ones that are sold are uh, made similarly. Um, so essentially, I'll show you what the inside looks like. It's a mess in here. You see the uh, resistor up there. Or my uh, right here. 
It's down here. All the wiring is pretty complex. It's kind of hard to see on this, so I have a clean schematic uh, link. Uh, essentially, this is where um, this is where the main line comes in. This goes out to the effects. <clears throat> in uh, in my case, it's a boss uh, um, boss pedal, and then from the boss pedal comes back in to the return, and then this goes back out to the amp or to the next pedal in your pedal chain. Very simple. And then, oh, when you press this button, it activates it. So when you press this button, the light comes on. It activates the effect. When this button is impressed and the light is off, it will, the, um, the guitar signal will just go pass right through. Therefore, it's a true bypass pedal. It's a quite simple project. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer uh, any questions. So I hope you enjoyed my video uh, and uh, have a great one. Bye.